Well, speaking of viruses that infect their host, oh jeez, Vince McMahon. What a, what, a, what a transition! Yeah, this guy is—he's uh, already trying to sneak his way back into creative. That didn't take long. Well, he hasn't gotten into creative yet, as far as I know. But um, you know, I know what you're saying, and um, it's probably he's given his ideas. Well, he's, Hunter he's... claims he's got the last word. Yeah. But they're talking. Well, they're talking. Well, the thing is, is that, I mean, the the one thing is, is that, like, of all of the things that were said between the, uh, you know, what, what, what Vince said when he came back and what the company said and everything, um, you know, it's it's only been a, a little over a week. And everything has changed probably even more rapidly than I expected as far as, you know, between... Stephanie leaving and you know Vince is at the office he now hasn't been to TV yet but I I say probably yet I mean it's like you know there's you know when is is he going to go on TV I mean I you know I I mean I don't know there's certainly rumors running around that he will um I you know I've asked people and you know they wouldn't be surprised but there's not like there's a date like is he going to be on you know a week from Monday or is he going to be at the Rumble or whatever or, you know I mean who knows but there's that feeling that, that Vince is going to want to go out on TV and you know, he'll get the big reaction when he does. And But he is, he is in the office. He is talking about things other than the sale. And, um, yeah, I think it's um, there'll probably be more, more and more Vince's fingerprints as time goes on. You know, as far as the creative goes, um, you know, it just depends on who knows. Who knows? I mean, if Vince wants it. He'll he'll work to get it. He may he may do it slowly. He um, I don't know. I just know that. Well, uh, I mean, he'll do it slowly if he slowed down. Yeah. But I mean, it was abundantly clear the moment this all began that he wasn't just coming back to sell this place and then go back to playing bingo at the old folks' home. I mean, he's I here to he, I don't think, run I don't, the I don't, show. I don't I don't think he was ever playing bingo. But, no. Uh, no, but he's he's there to, to uh, well, Nick is running the show, but again, that's that's the same thing as, as Triple H running creative. It's like that's today, and and who knows what tomorrow brings, and and it you know could be you know, any, you know, look how quick Stephanie was gone. I mean, I ain't nothing nothing should surprise anyone from this point forward. Well, I do expect that he'll end up on television one way or the other, probably sooner rather than later. And see, the thing is, before it was like, well, you know, if he if he comes back, there may be a, a board revolt or it can be a board revolt or whatever. I mean, that's he took care of that problem. Hey, you did a good job with the, with you know going right out and, and talking about the sale because if not, there you know there is a lawsuit out. There's one. Yeah, there's one lawsuit out by a by a shareholder. We don't even know how much how many shares they hold. Yeah, but but the thing is, is well, it's supposed to be class action. But the but the point is, is that the stock isn't going to go down as long as they talk about selling, and so the talking about selling was his ace in the hole of avoiding the lawsuits if the stock dropped, which it probably would have. But I don't. I mean, it might have only dropped temporarily. Also, you know, what I mean, um, but with this, with 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 them talking about a sale, you know, it wasn't going to drop. I mean, I was surprised it didn't drop when he was out because it really told you that. Uh, People see that this thing can run without him, which for years and years and years, the perception was that it couldn't. So, um, I mean, it can, but he's back. And, um, you know, I mean, it's uh, I mean, there's there's probably a lot of nervous people because, I mean, there's a you know, he has a, a very different uh, mind and eye for talent than than Paul. And there's a lot of guys there that Paul sees something in that, that Vince won't a lot. Well, I think that when we start seeing mass layoffs and when we start seeing these raw shows where guys get three-week pushes and then they disappear and then we have nothing announced for the following week or we do have something announced and then they don't actually do any of it, well, that's, that's probably that's, a pretty that, good that, indication he's back. Yeah, yeah. When we start getting the thing where they announce like three or four matches and the two of them don't happen, that's when we, you know, and, and it's not injury-related, that's when we're, I mean, look, we're going we're gonna to know Vince's fingerprints are, are pretty easy to see. We'll know when it's, you know, Vince is really, uh, and, and talent, well, yeah, everyone, and people will know when Vince has got more and more influence on the thing. Um, you know, so far that's not the case, but it's, it's only been a week, so we'll have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it changes the whole dynamic of wrestling, I guess. 
Well, you know, there were people that were all worried, but uh, we had a talent meeting before SmackDown to... On Friday. Yes. Calm well, those they, nerves. Well, they basically said that they're not, it's not sold, which by Friday I think people knew. It was just to tell people and then like, you know. But I mean, their, their thing with Vince was it, it wasn't that Vince is only doing a sale. It's Vince is back. Kevin Dunn talked at the meeting a little bit too. And um, from what, I, the you know, the way it was explained to me, it was kind of like, there was nothing, what was said was exactly what you expect to be said, but some people were kind of thinking that there were things that were sort of slipping out when they were talking about Vince, that they were surprised. Like, no one said anything overtly, but, you know, the idea of, um, you know, that, that oh, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I may talk to him, but I talk to a lot of people, but I have the final word. That's, you know, what Paul Levesque said, and then it was almost like a... You know, for now, you know, or, or not, not for now. That's not really. He didn't say that, but, but just the, the feeling, the feeling when it was over was exactly our feeling. It's like, it's like uh, that is the case for now, and we believe it. And um, yes, it's not sold. We believe that because, you know, obviously there's a lot of people who would not be happy if it's sold to Saudi Arabia, and, um, you know, and and it's not been but it's that's not ruled out either so it's going to be a very interesting um next whatever it is you know between now and the sale you know i mean they want it they want it done by the summer i mean i think that's the target but of course in things like this it could take much longer i don't anticipate it taking much shorter because there's a whole bunch of processes you have to go through but um no i mean it's, it's going to be giant like i said you know many times this is going to be a giant year for wrestling you know, as far as big stories go between, uh, you know, when Vince left, it was like the biggest story in all those years. And now all of a sudden, I don't know how big that story really was. It was only a temporary hiatus. Although Ste Stephanie being gone is a big story. So we have had. Well, our, it was our... a it was a very, very big story, but it's also a very, very big story that he's already back. I mean, the fact that he was even removed was a huge story. Even yeah, if it was short lived. And, 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 and the, the scandals was a huge story. And there may, you know, again. There may be stuff that still comes out. It's 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 possible. I think that the uh, one thing that we can be assured of is that uh, for the foreseeable future, we will regularly be getting stories out about the sale. That has to continually be floated for the stock price to remain high. If this ends up going quiet. I don't think that would be... Uh, yeah, but it, I think people know the process is going on. I don't think they're going to go like... like I mean, they'll. I think it's something that will be talked about, but it's not like... I, I, I think that they even said um, a couple days ago that, that um, this may be the last that we talk about it, like as far as a public thing, until, you know, it's about to be sold type, you know. It's not like they're going to be... You know, I, I mean, I, I'm sure... I'm sure, I guess it's what, first week of February when they're, when they're doing the... Um, the uh, investors conference, which is really interesting because will Vince be there? I mean, they have not said, usually we know who's going to be there. We know Stephanie won't be there. It's so funny because of the people who were there. It used to be, um, you know, almost everyone, like Kristen, Kristen Salem, I think was her name, who I thought was very impressive on those calls. And she's, she's not with the company. Stephanie was usually just kind of like the, um, you know, she said, you know, kind of, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I mean, she was the, the um, chief brand officer. She said all the branding words and the buzzwords and the corporate and, and, stuff, and 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 talked about all the good things and putting smiles on faces and everything. I mean, she was there and very charming and, and all that. And and Nick was the guy who you know Nick and um, Frank Riddick um, did most of the talking. I mean, Nick kind of on the the big picture stuff. You know, he would talk about um, um, you know the the. the the sports landscape, really, which he's so connected to, it's ridiculous. You have no idea how ridiculous. I, I, I mean, it's 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 kind of a joke, but Nick seems to know um, what I'm doing outside of this website um, more than I do. Sometimes that's how connected he is. It's unbelievable. But um, you know the, um, but as far as. Uh, you know, I mean, and then Frank Riddick will do the, you know, the nuts and bolts, the numbers. So I, and any, I, I would assume Nick and Frank will be there. Whether, whether Vince will be there is very interesting. Whether Paul Levesque will be there is is very interesting because he's not always there, but when he's there, you know, he can he can talk kind of, you know, the talent stuff. I mean, he doesn't go into like great detail, but he'll kind of give theories and stuff, and you can learn a little bit, you know, as far as like his, you know, where his head's at a little bit when it comes to that stuff. So 
there's a, that's that's going to be a very interesting thing in just a couple of weeks, especially coming off the rumble because they'll have all those uh, rumble stats. You know, as far as like the biggest, you know, obviously more people are going to watch this rumble than any rumble before. Um, the attendance, when we already know the gate's going to be a record. It won't be the most attended Royal Rumble ever, uh, but it will be among the most attended. And um, you know, they'll whatever else, whatever great angles that they do coming out of it and where we're going to WrestleMania. Obviously, we're going to have a pretty good idea of that. You know, I mean, um, you know, um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, the, the Rumble's going to be the big news show and then until Mania. We'll talk about the SmackDown show later, but uh, same show. I mean, no obvious changes at all to that one. So at this point, you know, he's he is apparently I mean, I mean, hands not, look, look, But I mean, I mean, like, I think that the direction between now and Mania, you know, especially with the Sami Zayn, you know, the Sami Zayn storyline is probably with with Kevin Owens and and the Usos and everything. It's probably pretty well written out, you know, as far as like when we hit here and when we hit here, what we're going to do in Montreal, what we're going to do at, uh, you know, what we're going to do with Rumble, what we're going to do in Montreal, what we're going to do at WrestleMania. I think that stuff is pretty laid out, and I don't see that changing. Um, and that's the that's the number one feud on SmackDown, and 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 probably in the whole company right now. I mean, maybe um, you know Cody will come in with a big big program as well. You know, when when he comes back, which we presume will be the Rumble. On on, um, I think that they have to announce that uh, the Cody thing. Um, you know, probably not this week. Maybe next week. Um, this week's show, by the way, um, is. They're going not only against the probably the toughest football game they've gone against in years and years and years. It's a playoff game. It's uh, um, Dallas Cowboys and uh, um, New England Patriots with Tom Brady. Um, by the way, did you, did you hear about the Jacksonville Jaguars game? Where they were down by 27 points and they came back to win? Yeah. I did yeah. hear about that. Un unbelievable. I watched the, the end of the game. You know, I happened to be somewhere where the game was on, and it was uh, – Quite amazing to watch because it just looked like... It's Tampa Bay, by the way. What? As your resident uh, football expert here. What about Tampa Bay? Not New England. It's Tampa Bay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, because I got Tom Brady mixed up. Yeah, I got because he played for New England for all those years. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Tampa, Tampa Bay with Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I should not have made that mistake. He's been with Tampa Bay for a couple of years now. But yes, yes, yes. But did you know that in January... WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a pitch black match. Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew apparently has a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's, it would be like if the match led was like this for 10 minutes, and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike, stop it. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.